have honestly already started my day. I got some work done this morning, but I still have a lot of work to do. But I do want to take a little break and get a coffee because I have this thing where I can get 100 extra points from Starbucks if I order a pumpkin spice latte today. And it's Friday and I didn't work out this morning because I'm still not feeling too well. So I'm in sweatpants and I figured, you know, why not treat yourself a little bit? I also need to make a return to Whole Foods, so I figured I could take you guys along with me there. I also did a little planning for Vlogmas last night, so I'm really excited. I haven't used an actual content plan calendar or strategized anything for social media in so long, so I feel like 2023 was the year of like just getting consistent-ish with posting on YouTube. And 2024 is going to be my year for like major growth and major strategy. That's that's the goal right now. All right, so I'm still not feeling well. I think I mentioned that. I'm going to try and make a doctor's appointment for next week. Anyways, got to do all that stuff. But first, let's get some coffee and go to Whole Foods to make your Amazon return. guys well some of you know me so welcome back if you're new um, if you're not new wait welcome back if you're not new if you are new welcome to my channel my name is Nika I'm 29 years old and I'm a clinical psychology student at Columbia University I'm also doing a host of other things that I want to share a little bit more about on this channel I've just been very preoccupied with PhD applications but yeah, like I'm really excited to spend the day with you guys. I also went to Chase because I need to get some cash because I need my hair done later today. So we should have a really fun day. I have some plans to go to like Margaritaville later and then a potential birthday party later, but I just want to see how I feel and also how much work I get done because I just have a lot of stuff to do. Try not to get hit by this car. <laughs> but yeah, all right, I will catch up with you guys at home. trying to make something for breakfast super quick. I'm gonna do like avocado toast, potatoes, and some smoked salmon. I feel like I haven't been eating any fruit lately, so I also wanna to try to make like a little fruit smoothie later. And I'm gonna take a ginger shot right now because as you guys know, not feeling too well. So that is the plan. just ran like a man woman and still miss this g train like oh it's so frustrating and I think I'm gonna be late for my hair appointment and the next train comes in six minutes and I'm just so annoyed like it's so hard to get from one side of Brooklyn to the other side of Brooklyn and it's just like transportation can be so much better in the city sometimes
Okay, so we have like a 20 minute walk ahead of us, but the good news is we're doing pretty good on time and as long as I don't get too turned around, we should get there in time. There's a 15 minute grace period and right now Google is telling me I'll be there at 1.04. My appointment's at one o'clock. So we're not gonna have that $40 late fee, which I was not trying to pay. I guess let's do a little walking tour of Bedsai while, while we're out here. time I'm so proud of us now let's get our hair done it feels really good done I got my hair done I am obsessed I really love it I always feel weird when I get my hair straightened at the salon too because it's like my hair is so 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 straight <laughs> it's weird but I think it looks really cute and I also feel like my color looks really great when it's really straight like this but I'm really excited we are going to head home Gotta love New York. Well, I already kind of gave us a walking tour of Bed Stuy, so I'm probably not gonna give us another tour. I will see you guys when I get home. And yeah, check in with you guys then. And I barely even had time to open up the camera because as soon as I got home, I had to jump on a call with a girl that I met during the Harvard prep program. And it was an amazing, really great call. And then after that, I had another call with a woman that I'm interviewing um, for my birthing center, which I don't think I've even told you guys about my birthing center. And it's pretty close to my heart right now, so I'm not gonna share anything about it really, but yeah, so I've just been busy. It's like five, it's six, it's 5.50, it's six o'clock basically, and my UN boss gave me like a little concept note to complete. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to complete it tonight. I might complete it tomorrow, and I have some stuff to do for my other job as well. I have too many jobs. So anyway, I'm gonna have some dinner. I'm warming up some pasta that I made earlier in the week and I'm having a slice of toast because I feel like I just have been eating bread with every meal. I'm gonna stay in tonight. Like I was supposed to go to Times Square and hang out with some friends at Margaritaville, but I don't know, after chatting with my Harvard colleague, 
that even sounds weird to say. I feel very inspired to like complete my applications. Plus I have my first PhD application due next week. So I'm probably gonna stay inside and work on that. And I think I'm gonna see the people that I was supposed to see tonight, tomorrow anyway, so. I was like, what is that noise? So it is eight o'clock on November 11, 11, 11. So I'll probably do some manifestation and journaling later today. Let me get my like life together. Let me take a bath because honestly, I feel like that's also why I'm so stressed because I don't think I've taken a bath in like a week and baths are always just so relaxing. application process but yeah that like stressed me out last night <laughs> I was like feeling so good about it and then I started feeling so bad about it so that's such as life I also think because I've been constantly super stressed between school and work and the UN and PhD applications like all the stress probably isn't too good for me either but right now I'm really excited to see how my heatless curls turned out I don't think I showed you guys last night when I put them in because I was just so ready to go to bed and I got my hair done so I was trying to just like keep it cute without necessarily like straightening it or adding more heat to one side. Now I put a bobby pen in some of them because they were not wanting to stay down. Ooh, can you even see? It's looking okay, quite nice, quite nice. Let's do this side. Another little bobby pin in here. Yeah, it's not like ideal, but it falls. I know, I'm like, as long as it has some body in here, I feel good. I also got some stuff from Fenty Beauty. Well, not Fenty Beauty, Savage by Fenty. 
Rihanna honestly has too many businesses, but I wanted to show you guys too. It was like a sweatsuit set, and then I also got a bunch of underwear, but you guys do not need to see my underwear. All right, let's open up the package. <laughs> I'm really excited because, if you don't know, I have been living in sweatsuits recently. And so I saw that she had like a sweatsuit set that I could get with my like credit that I had, even though I honestly think it's a total scam to have like a membership and to get these credits every month. Like that's, it's not what I want, girl. That's just, that's not what I want. But I do like the discounts you get with the membership. And I like that I got this sweatsuit set because I think in credit it's like $65 so $65 for sweatpants and a top isn't that bad I'm gonna actually try these on quickly so I got a medium because I like for my sweatsuits to be comfy and not too tight but now I'm thinking I definitely probably could have gotten a small Ooh, the inside is so soft. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And I was nervous because it said it was cropped. I was thinking it was gonna be like, like super cropped, but it's not even that cropped. I do wish I would've gotten a small in the pants, but let's see if we can tighten them up. Ooh, and these are like, little metal tips so they feel really nice and luxurious it's a savage on them okay okay rihanna i see you girl yeah i think i can tighten them and be fine they look a little bunched but i think it's fine i'm honestly not gonna return them just because i don't feel like doing the most for the return and i like that they're like wide leg like why are they dragging on the floor for me but my Lulu's do too, so I guess it just comes to being 5'4". But yeah, I am a fan of these. I really like them. All right, great purchase, great purchase. take a gender shot and then I need to get going I'm gonna meet my friend Caroline we're gonna take this free volleyball course I mean if you've been watching my vlogs for a while you know I play volleyball I have a little rec team I absolutely love them and honestly I cannot get over my hair when it's this straight like I feel like I need to put water in it or something because it looks crazy but I might bring like a little claw clip and then a scrunchie let's bring this off-white one it matches better and yeah, then we're off to a uh, QBK.
just my absolute favorite Christmas drink that they do. It's so yummy, so chocolatey, just delicious. So good. And then, because I have so many points, and like, Caroline and I really thought about going to Peter Pan Donuts, like we went back and forth about it, and ultimately we didn't. So I was like, I still wanna give myself like a little pastry or something, so I just got a little banana walnut bread from Starbucks as well. It's so beautiful out in New York City today. So I think I'm going to take advantage, I'm trying to talk with my mouth full, oh my God. So I wanna take advantage of just like how nice it is and get some errands done. So I wanna sit down and actually like meal plan for the week. I feel like I've been eating just a lot of carbs cause I wasn't feeling well and like my body was craving like pasta and breads and all that stuff. But this week I wanna be really intentional and like actually make a nice salad for the week and then maybe get everything I need for like a Caesar salad too. So I have like two salad options depending on like what I want. I also need to get some more apple cider vinegar. As you saw, I ran out in my bath this morning. And then just like groceries and stuff. And then I also want to return those headphones that I got from Target a very long time ago. Hopefully they'll give me at least store credit or my money back preferably. And then I also need to stop by Anthropology today and pick up something from Vlogmas, which I'm really excited about. I really think I'm gonna be able to do 12 days of Christmas this year. I'm going to journal a little bit because it's 11 11 and then have my coffee, have my banana walnut bread and then we'll probably get moving again to uh, do some more errands and just be outside because it's so nice, you know, like why not? <laughs> financial district always makes me so nostalgic because I moved to New York City in 2012 to go to this university right here, East University. It's crazy. And now I'm at Columbia and it's literally been honestly like 12 years later. This is almost 2024. Wow. That is actually insane. I've been in New York for 12 years. Wow. Okay, so the trains are like a little crazy today, but I finally have made it towards anthropology. So we're gonna go there really quick. I also remembered while I was on the train that I forgot the target return. So that's gonna have to happen another day. I'll see you guys at anthropology. Anthropology. Now we're gonna go back in the train, head up to Union Square because honestly, the way the trains are running this weekend, it honestly might be easier for me to go to the Trader Joe's. Oh, I can cross here. It might be easier for me to go to the Trader Joe's at 14th Street than the Trader Joe's in the Lower East Side or Williamsburg. So let's go. Downtown Brooklyn. No, I need to cross the street. Oh God. I'm recording. The this is the Alpha 5100. Oh, it's very old. Okay. <laughs> Did you say it's very old? <laughs> yeah, you have this Camera is old and shitty compared to this one. <laughs> oh, wow. So, Best Buy went like 
honestly really well. So I found out that if I get everything I wanted, it's gonna be like $1,400, which is cheaper than the Gucci purse that I wanted to get myself for my birthday. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and do that instead. I'm gonna hold off and like wait until Black Friday, see if it goes down anymore. But yeah, probably gonna be getting a new camera soon. And then right now I was going to run to Trader Joe's, but I'm in the area of Strand and I just love Strand so much and I want to just like pop in and get a book because I've been reading, what is it, The Laughter, The Eternal Laughter, The Lightness of Being? No, that's a different Mulan Kundera book. Oh, I've been reading the book of Laughter and Forgetting by Mulan Kundera and like I honestly don't really like it that much. Like I'm not excited to read it in bed. So I think I'm just going to get something fun and light to read at Strand and then uh, then we'll go to Cherry Juice. And whatever. Okay. Then I got some kidney beans for the chili and some tomatoes, some eggs, celery, and baby kale. Because I really don't like like regular kale. So baby kale is just easier to eat in my opinion. Then I got some shredded cabbage for a salad. I'm gonna make some bananas. <sighs> Grapefruit. Another bell pepper, a little tomato for like salad, sandwiches, toast, and stuff. I got this flavor of kombucha I've never tried before. It is Citrus Immune Boost, which obviously I've been not feeling well for a while, so hopefully this helps. And then I got some salmon. I think I got all of that for under $50, which is insane to me because the last time I went to Trader Joe's, I spent so much money. So definitely, definitely shop with a list because that is going to, you know, really change the game. Then I picked up my order from Anthropology, but I cannot show you what it is yet. You have to wait till vlog Vlogmas to see, which I'm actually like really, really, really excited about. And then I got Where the Crawdad Sings from Strand, and it was only $5. Is that not insane? Like, I'm so happy I got a little book because I was just like looking on Amazon. I didn't want to support Amazon, and then Strand is such a cute little bookstore, so I'm happy I was able to support them. And I forgot that they actually buy books too, so I have a lot of books in this apartment, so hopefully... Maybe in the next vlog we can go and sell some books there. And there's also, I was watching another YouTuber, there's a bookstore in the city that gives you a jar of pickles if you donate some books. So maybe I'll do that. That'll be on my, my little to-do list. Okay, I feel like we've done absolutely so much in this vlog and I'm pretty tired. I think it's like five o'clock. It's six o'clock and I wanna do like an 11-11 little journal and 
edit my video that's supposed to go live tomorrow that's not ready yet and just like kind of relax for a bit so I'm going to end the vlog here if you're new please make sure you subscribe my goal is to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year and I, I think we can get there I just need like 180 people <laughs> so hopefully that happens otherwise I'll see you guys in the next video I'm gonna love ya and leave ya. Leave me a little comment below as well if you liked the vlog. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!